Image Resizer is the fastest and easiest way for you to resize images for your PHP website. The Streamover extension from WebAssist allows you to apply invaluable resizing functionality to your PHP website so that you don't have to use any image editing software or do any processing prior to loading your page. In this feature tour, I'm going to show you how Image Resizer works, how to apply it to images on your page, and explain some of the different ways that you would find Image Resizer useful. So here's a travel blog that I have created where I tell stories about different trips that I've gone on. And today I'm going to write a post about scuba diving. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a picture of my trip at the top of this blog post. I've already added the image file that I want to use, which is something I took with my digital camera. And I'm just going to drag this straight to where I want it to display on my page. As you can see, this image is far too large for the content area that I've inserted it into. So I'm going to do something that you don't generally do in web development, and I'm going to actually drag and dream over to make this the size that I want it to be. Now you can see that I've resized it in the properties inspector. The width and height are de defined in pixels, and you could manually type the width and height there if you'd like to. But I'm happy with the size of this image. Now typically in web development you would never do this because it's going to take longer for the browser to load the larger image even though I don't need such a large image. However, Image Resize is going to create the new image for me, so when my site visitors go to visit my blog, they're not loading the image, that I, image file that I've added to this page, but they're going to be loading the smaller, resized version of that image that Image Resize has created for me. So now that I've added the image to the page, I'm going to go ahead and add the Image Resizer functionality. From the Web Assist menu, you choose Image Resizer, and this very simple interface allows you to specify everything you need for the image. Now this checkbox here asks me if I want to resize images that are small, smaller than the specified dimensions. In most cases you'll want to leave this unchecked and that's basically because if you have an image that is smaller than the dimensions you, ha you have set in the HTML, if image resize resize that image it would stretch and if the image isn't of very high quality it's not going to look very good. The cache folder is the directory on your server where image resize will save the new image files that it creates. You can leave what is entered here by default and everything should work fine. Now Image Resizer provides you with four different ways that you can resize your image depending on what you're trying to achieve. Since I know that I actually resize my image to be from the correct aspect ratio of the original image, I can choose stretch to fit without being concerned that the image is going to be resized disproportionately. So for my example, stretch to fit is going to be the appropriate option. However, let's say you are actually applying this functionality to a variety of images and all the images have different aspect ratios. You might want to choose something a little different to make sure that all the images that are resized look the same and don't disrupt your page layout. Fit to box, for example, will resize your image to fit in a certain width and height but maintain the aspect ratio. When you choose fit to box, you have a fill color that you can specify which allows you to fill in any areas that aren't completely filled in by the image because the image didn't expand to a certain width or height based on the dimensions. Additionally, you, have, you can choose crop from center, which will actually take a larger image and just crop the center of it to meet the dimensions that are specified. And then proportion to box is like fit to box, however it does not add a fill color to fill any empty space. So for my example, I'm going to choose stretch to fit and click OK. So the functionality has now been applied to my image. All I need to do now is save my page and then preview the page in my browser for the first time. So the very first time your page loads in the browser is when Image Resizer will actually do the resizing process of the image. So it may have taken a little bit longer for this page to load and when I right click and view image, you'll see that the, the actual size of that image is what I specified in the HTML and is stored in the image cache folder just like I had defined in Image Resizer. So now every time somebody loads this page on my website, the correct sized image is going to load and that large image will never be used again. So it's really that easy to get an image the right size for your website without having to open up Photoshop to do any image editing. Now let me explain how you can use this for a more advanced use. For example, let's say you have a real estate website where you upload listings for houses. Now throughout your website you probably have a detailed page to talk about the specifics of that particular house and you display a large image for that product. However, on another page, perhaps a real estate listings page, you'll display the same image but a much smaller version of that file. Previously, you may have gone into Photoshop or another image editing application and created the same image twice that is two different sizes. Or you may have used Digital File Pro and created the upload behavior to create two images for you 
that is then different sizes. Now, with Image Resizer, you don't have to do any of that extra work. You can have the same image on two different pages in two different locations and specify completely different dimensions for that image and Image Resizer will automatically create the image size that you need when that page loads for the first time. So you don't have to do any of the extra work. This functionality would be great when using Data Assist and, and wanting to display images on your results page or on your detail page. As well as with eCard if you wanted to add a detail image on your shopping cart. You no longer have to manually create multiple images to display the different sizes that you need. So that's about it for image resize. It really is the easiest way for you to add images to your PHP website. We've even used Image Resizer on our recent PowerStore 4 release. So if you check out the product catalog and the product detail pages on PowerStore 4, you'll see another practical use for Image Resizer. I hope you've enjoyed this feature tour. Check out our other Dreamweaver extensions as well as our PHP solutions at webassist.com. Thank you very much.